Ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. We are uh, uh, over an hour uh, from the U.S. jobs report, which showed much stronger than expected growth. Uh, and uh, the U.S. dollar moved higher, stocks moved lower in pre-market trading, yields moved uh, sharply to the upside. We are coming off the boil a bit, however, so let's uh, go through some of the markets uh, here and the reactions uh, with a focus on the uh, Forex. Uh, so let's get started. Ten-year yields are uh, currently trading at 4.834%. They uh, moved just above the high price from earlier this week at 4.884% to 4.887% uh, before coming back off. The 30-year uh, yield moved above the 5% level. Recall from uh, Tuesday's trade, the price did uh, touch that 5% uh, level just a little bit above it and then started to come back down. The 30-year yield is now currently trading at 5%. As a matter of fact, as it just clicked there, up 11.5 basis points. U.S. Uh, stocks. Uh, we're seeing a uh, downside uh, here, but off of their pre-market levels. NASDAQ is the worst performer at minus 0.68%. Actually, it and the S&P are both down minus 0.68% currently at the moment. Uh, so not a disaster, uh, but uh, we are uh, seeing uh, lower stocks, and uh, that will translate into lower stocks for uh, the week as well. Uh, we are uh, in the dollar. Uh, we did move uh, to the uh, upside, as I mentioned. Uh, but uh, some of the uh, technicals are uh, coming to play in some of these uh, major currency pairs. So let's take a look at the euro versus U.S. dollar to start things off. And if we look at this uh, currency pair, uh, remember I've talked about the 1.0483 level as a key level. If I'm uh, taking a look at this hourly chart, we had a swing low here, swing low here, swing low here. Then we moved below that level and had a swing high, swing high, swing high. And then we moved above it and had swing low and swing low. And trading here today, lo and behold, the below price has come in right near the 0.0. Our 1.0483 level. Uh, if I go to the daily chart and look at that uh, level, uh, going back even further in time, uh, this uh, th this is no surprise to anyone who's listened to my reports. Uh, this uh, swing area between 1.0483 and 1.05335 uh, has been in play for a long time now, and uh, all these levels right through here all came into that area before we're moving higher. Uh, then we uh, came back to that level in the month of September and found a little bit of bid and then moved uh, back below it earlier this week and could not sustain the momentum and back above it uh, and also moved above the 1.0533 level in the process. But today, uh, what do we do? We reestablish support at the 1.0483 level. We need to get below that level, folks, in order to kickstart the downside uh, toward the 50% midpoint of the move up from the September low to the uh, J July high. I sound like a broken record, but I hope you get it now. Uh, anyway, on the top side, uh, what... Uh, what we uh, can't do uh, going forward is uh, move back above this 200-hour moving average. That would be that would that, that would disappoint the sellers, wouldn't it? Uh, earlier today, the market found support against that 200-hour moving average before moving higher before the report, and then move sharply to the downside. Getting above the 200-hour moving average would have traders scratching their heads, wondering what the hell is going on. So that's the uh, euro versus U.S. dollar move back below the 100-hour moving average now, 1.0502, and we're just. Or just off of that level would open the door for another run toward the 1.0483 level. We'll see how that plays out. The dollar versus yen moved uh, sharply higher uh, in trading. We did move above this uh, swing area right through here around the 149.50 level. Uh, moved up to a high price of, uh, well, 149.53 before rotating back to the downside. And where we rotated to, down to, we rotated back down to the 200-hour uh, moving average. That's a green line in chart, 149.20. And we held support. We're about bouncing back up. We need to get above the 149.50 level. So the buyers are remaining control in the dollar versus yen. Let's take a look at the storm versus U.S. dollar next. And if we look at that on the hourly chart, uh, we did uh, fall below the 100-hour moving average. And, uh, once again, uh, yeah, I should I should just put a horizontal line and uh, over here, uh, right at the week's low or these lows over the last uh, three trading days. One, two, three. Uh, we did uh, break below this level right here. This is a low at the one twenty one ten, and I thought that was the level that we have to watch. But you know, lo and behold, it was really down to one one twenty one oh five. So this area between one twenty oh five and one twenty one ten remains a key level to get to and through on the downside. The rebound back to the upside did move uh, back toward this uh, swing area near 121.59 to 67, uh, but uh, now now uh, trading between the 200-hour moving average at 121.51 and the 100-hour moving average at 121.25. Need to get below the 100-hour moving average to stay below that level and then uh, break below 121.105 to increase the bearish bias. Absent that, move above the 200-hour moving average again. Uh, and get above the 121.67 level would sit, have traders again thinking, uh, well, I guess the downside isn't the way to go. We're going back higher in the strong versus U.S. dollar. Uh, taking a look at the dollar versus Canada, they had their employment uh, data come out as well. 
Uh, we initially moved higher in the dollar versus Canada after the jobs report, U.S. jobs report, and Canadian jobs report, and then retraced all the way down to new lows for the day. There is a swing area down here, 136.69 to 76. Could not get to that level, and as you can see, we're back above the 100-hour moving average. So sloppy up and down trading, not uh, surprising given the uh, stronger Canadian jobs report, stronger U.S. jobs report has the market uh, unsure of which way it wants to go, but as long as we can stay above the 100-hour moving average at 137.104, that's more bullish for that uh, currency pair. Let's uh, take a look at the Aussie versus U.S. dollar, and it fell sharply after the uh, U.S. jobs report uh, breaking below this uh, swing area between the uh, 0.6326 and 0.6331 area level. Uh, I'll uh, outline it here. I'll put it in yellow here for you, for you so you can see. Uh, the importance of that uh, level we had a swing lower right here and the broke below it swing high right here swing high swing highs right here swing lows so on and so forth so uh where where are we now well um we are uh, currently trading at 60 0.6329 which is right in between between uh those those levels uh right here you can't see it but that's where we're trading trading so uh we need to get below the uh, 26 level and stay below that level to increase the bearish bias then we'll start to look toward this low right here at 0.6305. The low for the week at 0.62849 would be another target. Uh, where do we not want to go? We don't want to go back above the 100-hour moving average. We've already been above that level on the on the rebound right here, but stay below the swing area here starting at 0.63559. If we move back above that 100-hour moving average, start to start to move uh, toward this yellow area, then traders will again be uh, unsure of which way we want to go in that currency pair. Finally, let's uh, take a look at the uh, New Zealand versus the uh, U.S. dollar, and I'm going to put this on the hourly chart here because when you look at the uh, well, well, this uh, this two, hourly chart, the 100 and 200 hour moving average is coming play at 0 0.5929, 0 0.594458. Use those as barometers, but if we look at the four hour chart, there's a reason to look at that too. Uh, this uh, current currency pair remains uh, within this uh, 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 area here defined by. Uh, you know, probably this high right here down to this lows, lows right here. That's where most of the price action has uh, taken place. Uh, this is a four-hour chart, so this goes back, I don't know, seven or eight trading weeks where the price has been waffling up and up and down in between these areas. And uh, you can see the, um, the uh, 100 and 200 bar moving averages are um, the price is trading above and below those levels. So the market is unsure of which way it wants to go. Do we want to go to the higher? We want to go to the lower. We'll see. There you go. A look at all the major currency pairs of, uh, uh, and I'll talk a little bit about the other other markets. My name is Greg McCloskey. Good fortune with your trading. Bye bye now.